hey guys welcome back in dart programming tutorial series my name is Azhar Sleem in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about input and output in dart so let's start I'm going to remove our comments and first of all we have to import input and output library and simply import dart colon then io so input output library here I will start main and this arguments I will remove first um, we have to show or print out or output actually not print output some text for that I'm going to use here std out or standard out you can say it dot and here I will use write I'm going to click save and uh, let's run our file dot playground dot dot hit enter now it shows the output is here enter your name okay if I copy and paste means if I output two times and uh, enter your second name let's say again if I go and uh, run the file it will show both of line uh, output in same line for that thing we can use here ln so it show us a new line let's make it save again I'm going to run my dot file now you can see here enter your name into your second name so this is different between write and write ln okay now we print out or sorry we can set make output <coughs> next we have to make input to get some text or information from a user for that one I'm going to type here string name then std standard out this time in now dot read line sync and uh, actually this bunch of lines is std in out is coming from this library it's predefined already here so now we uh, you can say it output make output and uh, show our user to enter your name and here we get the input and in last we have to print out our result print your name is just sign name it's save I pass in my string iteration this uh, name here I save this file let's run into your name okay hit enter now print command is done your name is as a here let's try more something enter your name then enter your age let's see and a string name and std in then read sync again now this time I'm going to take care a uh, variable let's say var and age std in dot eco mode actually he's he, oh, because he's a variable <coughs> excuse me I'm making a change here string I must show here 
one more time let's say var age std in dot because uh, giving us a boolean okay uh, string age I'm also taking the age as a string std in and uh, then next read line sync now we take our username and age and store in two variables next we have to print out print okay your name is name here we will type your name and your age is dollar sign h save let's run our file into your name into your age so here's mistake i'm going to make it quit first we'll run these two lines after that this now it will be more clear for us first we make made here std out into your name the user will enter his name after we'll print out again enter your age then the user will enter the his age his or her age then we'll make it print out let's make it save again dot background we are going to run enter your name okay then enter your age now you can see here your name is other and your age is 24 oh, perfect so this is how we can um, make input and output in our dot uh, that's all this video tutorial and from next tutorial we will discuss about variables which we face here var and string what is the difference between of them